Hey everyone, I'm Jana with Easter Seals of Greater Houston. I'm with the Bridging Apps program, and today I'm broadcasting live to talk about a tech tip. I'm going to mention a couple of household items that might make scanning documents at home a little bit easier. Sometimes we're doing things from home where we have to send documents scanned to the doctor, to an office, maybe to work. There's a lot of situations now where we're being asked scan this and email it to us or something of that matter. So you might be asked to scan your ID, a um, ID size, not exactly an ID, a document, and they are specific in saying it can't be a picture, it has to be a scan. One of the tasks that's hard with that is it's not easy to hold your phone still for long enough to make sure that your scan is not blurry if you're using your phone. You might have a home scanner but if you don't, there's an app for that. I'll get a couple of links in the comments so you can take a look at some of our favorites. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna share some tips that I like to use to make sure that my uh, documents are sharp and in focus. Just for example, I've got a paper here, lots of small words, so moving around might be hard uh, for it to stay in focus. One thing I like to use is a box of cereal. I've got my document right here. Uh, I'm gonna move this way a little bit. So I'm using this to hold my arms so that I don't have to depend on just my arms. I'm using this to stay steady. So once I have my app open to scan, I can hold my hand steady, no shaking, no moving around, and my scan will come out sharp and clear. Another household item I like to use it's just a chair. If I put my document, I'm gonna to try to speak as loudly as possible. If I've got my document on the bottom of the chair, I can use the back to rest my hands here. That way again, I'm not shaking around too much and I'm nice and steady, my camera is steady. That way I can make a nice, sharp, clear scan of my document. This is a very short tip for today, our tech tip was just on some household items you can use to make scanning a little bit easier. If you're doing telehealth and they ask, okay, you can have an appointment, but you need to send a copy of your insurance card first and your driver's license and some other kind of documents, fill this out, sign it, send it back. This is a great way to use your phone as your scanner. Again, I'm going to put some of our favorite apps for scanning in the comments. And if you find yourself ready to scan, these are some great tips on how to do that at home and make sure that your documents come out clear and sharp without being blurry. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.